we're going to look at solutions to a country where we have at least one solution in our reaction. And for solution, we'd like to have our concentration in terms of molarity. Molarity times liters will give us our moles. So molarity is moles per liter, moles of solute per liter of solution. Multiply by liters of, of solution, we get our moles of solute. And um, for this first one, we're going to use solution to calculate the uh, mass of it. And we're going to have to be able to finish off a number of these um, reactions, um, types of reactions that we'll uh, go over in class. So this, this one is going to be precipitation reactions. We're looking for the precipitate here. So, of course, to do our precipitation, we're going to do our magnesium with the carbonate potassium with the chlorine. So we're going to have a MgCO3 plus KCl. And there'll be two of the KCLs. So that two on the K shows the charge on the CO3. The two on the Cl shows the charge on the magnesium. So we have a plus two, negative two. We need one of each. Potassium is a positive one. Chlorine is a minus one. We need one of each. And then the two balances the reaction. We know that anything with an alkali metal is always aqueous. So that means that this is going to be our precipitate, our solid. And to calculate uh, mass, we're going to start off with our magnesium chloride. We have both concentration and volume here. And we have an excess of the potassium carbonate. So we'll have our 0.54 molarity, I'll write it as moles per liter. We have to convert the 533 mLs into liters. That is 0.533 liters. And this is for our magnesium chloride. So multiplying these together, the liters will cancel. We're left with moles of magnesium chloride. And we do our stoichiometric ratio, the ratio of the coefficients. We're looking for our solid and magnesium chloride. So we have one mole of our magnesium chloride. Uh, magnesium carbonate, sorry about that. We're starting with our one mole of magnesium chloride. So We'll take our moles of magnesium chloride, they'll cancel off. We'll be left with moles of magnesium carbonate. So we want the mass of that. So we add up the mass of magnesium carbonate and three oxygens to get the molar mass. And that comes out to be a 84.32 grams per mole of our magnesium carbonate. So we run this through our calculator and we end up with 24 grams of the magnesium carbonate. The next example is a acid base reaction. So we have an acid here and a base. That's going to give us salt water. This is another uh, double displacement reaction. I'm going to combine sodium with the chlorine, that will be our salt. Uh, H with OH gives us our water. This is an acid-base neutralization reaction. And we're not looking for one of the products now, we're looking for the other reactant from this. So we have two aqueous solutions. For two aqueous solutions, the relationship is molarity times liters divided by coefficient equals molarity times liters divided by coefficient. So we're still going to start off calculating moles, but we're doing it for our sodium hydroxide because we have both volume and concentration for that. So we have our 0.2 molarity, moles per liter of it as 
the 50 ml returned in two liters as 0 0.050 liters. This is, of course, for our sodium hydroxide. We want to turn it into hydrochloric acid and multiply by the stoichiometric ratio, the ratio of the coefficients. So I'll be one mole of HCl over one mole of NaOH. And so we have moles, we're looking for volume. So let me go up to this equation up here. We multiply that coefficient across. We got our M1, V1, C2 over C1. So the two ratio of the coefficients. So that's what we have right now. Uh, that will still be equal to our M2, V2, the moles of what we're looking for. In this case, we're looking for volume. So we divide by the molarity. So we're going to have our M1, V1, C2 over C1, 1 over the M2. We're dividing by our molarity, and that will give us our volume that we're looking for. So this point, we will divide by the molarity. And I can write it as moles per liter again, so moles per liter. So our answer will come out in terms of liters of hydrochloric acid. We run this through our calculator, we end up with a 0 0.100 liters. And of course, that is 100 milliliters. <laughs>